just went to McDonald's and they were a little upset that I was filming. I tried to tell them, it's Facebook Live, it's Facebook Live. Oh, I'm Facebook, Facebook. Oh, okay, no Facebook. Okay, okay. They're honestly pretty upset about it and I just have a fear of always seeming like a stupid American, so I hated that. But um, I put my phone in my pocket and now I'm in front of the uh, cathedral. And we have a couple items here. Also, the McDonald's is very different here. I ordered on the screen and then I brought my receipt. They took my receipt and then they make it. See, in the States, after you order, it's already being made and they set it out. So that was kind of random. But uh, we got, oh my, wow, oh my lord. We got Coke Zero here. Oh man, is there a straw? No? Oh wow, okay. So I had just, I pop it. There we go, just like that. Don't need a straw at all. You know what's interesting? It's that McDonald's is known for having like electrifying Coke and this just tastes like regular Coke. I feel like maybe in America it has a lot more chemicals. I mean, how natural can Coke be? I don't know, it just tastes natural. <laughs> We have a croissant right here, and it's either custard or cacao. Let's take a split down the middle, see what we're working with here. Oh, this is the custard. I don't know how many croissants they really have in America, maybe just a few, but here they had a lot of croissant options for the breakfast menu. Let's give it a try. Oh my God. Oh wow, it's like a lemon custard. Wow, that's really good, really good lemon custard. Let me take a sip of the uh, the coffee. Oh, here we go. I mean, I can see coffee tasting differently, to be honest. To me, coffee's coffee. It tastes like shit. Gotta put a lot of sugar in it, because I like coffee that doesn't taste like coffee. Gotta get my zero cow sweetener. Well, I can't believe that the pigeons aren't attacking me. There's like hundreds here, but I guess they don't like me. They probably can sniff that I'm American. <laughs> All right, let me give this a try. I got three sugar packets in here, so I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, that's good. Actually, that might be better than American coffee. I, I know I just said that it all tastes the same, but dude, this is kind of hidden. So I have a funny story to tell you guys. I went to sleep at 7 p.m., woke up at 2 a.m., and everything in the city is closed. I was like, what do I do? I'm wide awake and I'm very bored. I wanna do something. I don't wanna just be on my phone for hours. So I looked up if there was food, if there was activities, and there was only one place open. It was a club, and it said that I had food. So I hopped on a Lime scooter, and I was just riding through the city, and it's extremely quiet, really eerie. I don't think that Milan is dangerous at all, but I think anywhere in the world is, could be dangerous at night, and I was just alone riding on the bike, in the quiet and someone could pull me over and beat the crap out of me and rob me. So I was like, uh, you know, I wouldn't even do that in LA to be honest. So I was riding this lime and it was like 30 minute lime ride and you know, I got some areas that were pretty dark so it got pretty spooky actually. I was a little scared, I was about to turn around halfway but I, I hustled through it, I ended up doing it. And I got to the club and I walked up and I immediately thought, I'm not just gonna stand here with a drink in my hand and just watch people dance because you know, I'm a bit of an anti-social person unless I'm with my friends. So I just like walked up to the bouncer, I was like, you guys have food? Food, and they're like, no. So I turned around and there was a food truck. And I promise, I promise, this is the only place that serves food open in the entire city. And it's because it's right next to the club. The people leaving the club would eat there. So I walked up and there's a lot of food there, but uh, I saw this one sandwich that looked so good. It's the only thing I really wanted. But whenever I go somewhere new, I always want to get what the best item is on the menu. So I told them, I was like, can I just get whatever you think is the best? And they said, yeah, this one, this one. And it was the sandwich that I was looking at. So I was super psyched. I was like, oh my fucking God. I thought this was the best sandwich and it is the best sandwich. So I got that and I got a big old Coke Zero, put it in a bag and then I hopped on my Lime scooter to enjoy it in the hotel rubbing my belly. I went all the way through the city again, you know, through the dark alleys, through the spookiness. I rode by this one creepy guy that's like, hey, come here, buddy, come, come here. But I just like, I just like hit the fucking gas. I just hit the fucking pedal on the Lime scooter and rode past him. But uh, yeah, it was a treacherous drive. I don't like scootering anywhere in the middle of the night, but I got back and I looked down at my hand and my bag had a giant hole in the bottom with nothing in it. All my shit fell out of the fucking bag on the way back. And I just like thought to myself, dude, I did not fucking scooter 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back with quite possibly the best sandwich I'll ever have in my fucking life. Like it was the meatiest sandwich, the sauciest, the vegetable-iest. There was so much ketchup, so much mayo, so much grease, so much grilled char to the veggies. Like it was actually the perfect sandwich and it was somewhere on the fucking street. So I literally just hopped back on the scooter and limed all the way back to the place and halfway there was my sandwich, the buns. 
face down on the fucking street because I thought I could save it. I was like, oh, maybe it's like, you know, maybe if it's just sitting on the ground, I could just like brush it off a little. But no, literally buns fucking down. <laughs> like ketchup squished into the cement. Just fuck. And then my Coke Zero uh, was on the floor and I picked it up. I was like, oh, maybe the Coke Zero has a little dent. I wouldn't mind a dent, but no, it was bursted open, completely poured out, absolutely royally fucked in the ass. So I had to ride all the way back to that place, have it completely be made again, then fly him all the way back home. But you know what? It was one of the best fucking sandwiches I've ever had. And I actually had lasagna earlier here today and I think I messed up. I think it was my bad. I got it near a, the touristy area. Like I think it was near here and I'm not gonna lie, the, the, the lasagna i wasn't a fan of it i take that as my fault because it was near a tourist area i'm sure it wasn't like authentic and as delicious as it should have been but that sandwich at 3 a.m at a random buttfuck street vendor best fucking sandwich i've ever had so here is the cacao i'm really excited for this one i'm actually a very big fan of chocolate let's just split it down the middle and see what we're working with in here oh it's so flaky do you hear that listen to this flake <laughs> Look at that. Let's go in for the bite. Oh my God, that is phenomenal. This is my favorite for sure. It definitely beats the custard, I'd have to say. Just because I'm a fan of chocolate, you know, I kind of have a uh, childlike brain. So I'm actually excited because uh, Crawford and Baba's get here in a couple hours. I've had the worst sleep schedule though. Like literally sleeping at 7 p.m. What am I, a fucking grandpa? We have the burger here. Now I got a regular burger because I want to see if it tastes different than the States. I'm very familiar with McDonald's in the States. So here's the test. First of all, it looks a little differently. It looks like a fake cheeseburger. It doesn't even look real. Let's give it a go. Wow, I just have to say that it's uh, it's just a little less greasy, I'd say. A little more dry. I think that uh, America really uh, tops it with a lot more grease. But it tastes pretty similar. Nothing much different. Maybe they went a little heavier on the ketchup here. Buongiorno. Oh yeah, we're getting the fucking flock over here. I am going to be the king of the pigeons. Buongiorno. 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 I'm very excited about the McToast. Have never heard about the McToast. Let's see what's going on here. Oh wow, it appears to be an inside out cheeseburger, but in the inside, uh, wow. Look, 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 listen. It's very dry, there's no grease to it. The inside appears to be cheese. Let's just give it a try. The McToast. Oh, I got a little ham in here. Cheese and ham, I like the idea of it but it's just pretty dry. Like there is just no moisture here. Like it's just like, do you hear this? Almost like a brick. Yeah, I don't, I, honestly, this is better for the pigeons. Buongiorno. Surely God's gonna give me some good karma after this, right? Like I'm feeding like 300 entities right now. I'm in Milan in front of this giant fucking cathedral eating a chocolate croissant surrounded by 400 birds. Today's a good day. 